guys, back with another video. This time I wanted to talk with you about my recent upgrade to my gaming PC. I upgraded from an i7-6700 CPU to an i7-10700K CPU, so going from 4 cores to 8 cores, a 6th generation to a 10th generation, which is a pretty big leap. And I also upgraded my uh, memory from 24 megahertz speed to 36 meg 30 sorry 2400 megahertz speed to 3600 megahertz speed and i wanted to talk with you about the difference i'm seeing in x-plane 11 vr now i'm using the hp reverb g2 at full resolution a 1080 ti and you can see on the screen there you'll see uh, uh the utilization of the gpu is but also the cpu as well I can tell you that the old CPU I was always, and I actually have raised my settings to uh, high on buildings and high on resolution. And I could tell you that the CPU, my old CPU was always cranking at about 70%, and you can see where it is now. Now the GPU is still pretty much where it has been, uh, the 1080 Ti, but the improvement in smoothness has just been absolutely significant especially in this plane I'm flying now is the torque sim SR 22 which um, I'm going to just take off here we're going to just do a little bit of a, a flight which is for me is known to be like a pretty fairly stuttery at times experience and I will tell you that uh, that experience has smoothed out significantly this is a pretty heavy resource resource heavy plane and uh, let's just make sure my flaps are good to go there. We're going to take off here. And the, the experience, and again, now remember, I'm actually using OBS to record this, so I'm using part of the GPU to do that and the CPU, and I'm still getting super, super smooth um, performance. That upgrade to the CP to, uh, the, that I did to the CPU, I think, was just a significant, significant change that really made a substantial improvement um, across the board in X-Plane 11. I remember seeing a number of videos about how X-Plane 11 is CPU-centric. We all kind of know that. Uh, but going from a 6th generation to a 10th generation CPU uh, was a really, really good thing to do. Didn't have to upgrade my GPU. I'm like I said, I'm still using a 1080 Ti, which I bought in, what, 2016 or 2017? So it's a fairly old G, uh, GPU, but going to that new CPU really made a significant di difference. Now this is, I mean, really almost like lifelike smoothness. You can see the frame time up there on the, uh, on the display there. You're seeing a one-eye view. I'm seeing a full-eye view, obviously. And, you know, what I'm seeing in VR is much more uh, detailed than you're probably seeing there in 2D. But substantial difference and I highly recommend if you're you know if you're using an older CPU uh, to run X-Plane 11 in VR and you're experiencing stuttering and you've got a relatively you know reasonable GPU like I have like I have like a 1080 Ti highly recommend you know going to a an upgraded uh, a GP, a CPU um, I was a little hesitant about doing it um, it was a little bit of a, you know, I did my, my, my investigated, my guess, my investigation work. Uh, it was a little bit of a, um, um, hassle to do the upgrade. I mean, I ran into a few issues. I guess I shouldn't say it was, wasn't really that bad, but I did run into a couple of issues, but all in all, it worked pretty well. I actually upgraded the motherboard from an, I had to upgrade from a Z170 to a Z490 motherboard. I went with a gigabyte Vision D motherboard, which uh, obviously is you know four four years uh, younger than the old one, so we're going to pick up some some technological improvements there. But I really think the CPU just had a tremendous tremendous effect here. I mean, this is just a smooth experience flying this plane. One of my favorite planes to fly in VR and X Plane Eleven, and I was really hoping that going through that expense and effort was going to improve this plane in particular. And I have to say that um, 
that uh, promise was, uh, or I should say, that uh, hope was fulfilled. So we're going to land here. This is a, this is a area that I fly in quite a bit around Cape May, and as I said, normally with the old CPU, I would experience some some reasonable micro stuttering, if, stuttering, if not full frame stuttering. Get my my flaps down there so we can land here, but this is just. I mean, it's closer, as close to reality that I've ever had the experience in VR, ever. You know, going to the, and again, the Reverb G2 is running at full resolution. All right, 100% in Steam, Steam VR, and it's 100% uh, in the application. I haven't, I haven't throttled it back at all. So I'm getting full resolution there, which is, you know, probably why most of the GPU is used up. So the question is, if I upgrade it to a 30, like a 3080, do I get any additional improvement? I'm not sure. Um, I think it probably would a little bit, but probably negligible. Really, the CPU, throwing that, that beefier CPU at it really made a significant difference. So anyway, I just wanted to make this video real quick for those of you considering an upgrade in CPU that uh, like to fly in X-Plane VR. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. My experience has been extremely positive. If you have any questions, pop them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. Hit that like button if you like what you saw. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more X-Plane 11 VR videos. Guys, thanks for watching and have a great day.